Oh. <laughs> well, this is the first recording ever. Chesty card slow shooting may stop. It is currently 6.24 p.m. and I'm just packing up now to leave the office and see if I can still get a walk in. Yeah, this is uh, still testing how this camera works, but I'm keen to keep start vlogging with it. So, yeah, this is fun. It's very different. It's like, yeah, really, really light gimbal. It's very handy and I'm using face track at the moment, which is probably, yeah, that's me walking around. <laughs> this is cool. So I am very keen to start properly vlogging. I'm not wearing the DJI mic just yet. So this is what the audio sounds like on this camera without the DJI mic. And the next time I use this, hopefully I will wear the mic and give that a shot too. Let's pack up, let's go home. It's been a long day. We started shooting at 5 a.m. this morning. Still not using the microphone so this is just low light mode and there is literally no light in this office except for what's glowing i think i'm the last one here yeah i'm almost 100 percent sure i'm the last one here i'm just going to turn on the dj mic right now and see whoa 60% it says DJI mic 2 transmitter connected used for audio input 60% battery is remaining That's a good sign I'm still looking at the screen. I'm just gonna plug it there even though it's visible Just to make sure. Okay, we're gonna go home. We're gonna go home now I need to get out and unlock the gate. Oh Look how red I look because the traffic lights are red. This is hilarious I kind of forgot that my car just got cleaned which is a very huge benefit of sharing the space that we have in the office with Just Keep It Fresh, who is a car detailing company. At the moment, uh, yeah, I've been driving my Tesla Model Y for two months now, and Just Keep It Fresh has done a really good job of doing a ceramic coat and front PPF, which is paint protection film. And as far as I know, they've done a really good job, and the car looks really super shiny, kind of looks a bit like the Batmobile, especially because my license plate is currently black and yellow which really gives it that black Batmobile edge. It was a very big decision for me because I've, I've never bought a brand new vehicle of any kind and did not even imagine a few months ago that it would be a Tesla. I was always thinking I was going to get another big four wheel drive so I've still got my old Prado. It's got a lot of miles on it and it has done a really good job of transporting me for 12 years and it's coming to the stage of its life where there are just some repairs that are a little bit costly and I don't know if they justify the running costs of the vehicle. I had to make a decision about what to do if I was going to get a car or a new car and then a few things happened and I just really felt like it was time to make a decision. So we bought an apartment which was another huge miracle. God has been really good in, in coming through with the things that he said he was going to do and one of those was the house at the beginning of the year absolute miracle and since we got that cleared I was able to make the next move in the business which was to get a business vehicle and yeah the Tesla Model Y is my business vehicle I never expected to get this and I'm very grateful it's really cool uh, I think because I'm not really a car guy like I appreciate good cars and I get how important cars are and, but I'm not mechanically minded. I don't really know much about cars, to be honest. But the Teslas, and, and not just the Tesla tech, but you know, I really love the journey and I read Elon Musk's book. I love his approach, you know, he's a very polarizing figure. But as an entrepreneur, I really feel like I relate a lot to him on some level in terms of his personality and the way that the book at least portrayed him. It's cool to be sitting and using a product of someone as influential as Elon Musk regardless of what you think of it. I personally really love this car so far. It is like a big gadget on wheels. I don't feel like it's a car. I feel like it's, it's, it is a car obviously, but I feel like it's more of a big gadget, a big piece of tech. Like you can update the car, 
like it does all sorts of stuff so yeah part of the reason that i bought the tesla was to upgrade the vehicle but also viewing it as a bit of positioning it's hard to talk about the reason for this particular purchase in ways that don't sound self-serving because i'm again i'm not really a car guy in the best way i can explain it is there are clients that we want to work with that expect us or expect me to look a certain way it's kind of like representing the brand well just like i'm always saying that it's important to represent your brand well and we want to represent others i feel like it makes sense if somebody who wants to work with high-end brands and high-end entrepreneurs can also position myself to at least look like i can play in the same ballpark and i feel like a tesla they're quite common so it's not an uncommon car but it's also got a little bit of style and prestige without it being overly flashy and i think especially having the black car is very slick i just am thankful for a new vehicle and the one that works really well i really like the sound that it makes when it reverses it's like you have to exercise because project 50 we've been doing project 50 for the last week and a half almost and we've been really consistent gotta keep going b for bob i've been really enjoying apartment life it is the bomb i'm very grateful god is good definitely love just not having to mow the lawn those of you who have been playing along so far on the YouTube channel, then you'll know that this is my wife, Annie. And we're about to do a run because we have to do Project 50 because she is motivated. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Let's go for a run, even though we want to go to sleep. Ta-da! morning it is currently 9 a.m ish i've been working from home for the last hour or two and a lot of the times i actually spend my mornings working from home because we moved office now to a spot that's 30 minutes away and it's 30 minutes when there's no traffic and in peak hour traffic that looks more like 45 um, and you know, i've kind of come to the conclusion that the value of my time and energy, when my energy is at its, my peak creative energy is in the morning, so between 7 and 11. So I've come to the conclusion that unless it really makes sense for me to have to make that trip early in the morning, that that 45 minute drive is best used doing work from home, where I can do deep work and I can focus and I don't have to feel like I'm wasting my peak energy. And especially when people aren't necessarily emailing yet and trying to get hold of me. So that's why, and I've managed to punch out an edit and so now I've just been updating my Monday board here for that particular edit, which is uh, something else we've been doing. We've uh, been lacking a project management system for the past couple of years, kind of went off ClickUp, used Google Calendar and some other really, really average methods of tracking projects, calendar and spreadsheets, which for someone who loves things being organized has been quite a headache, but it's just taken a while to come to the point where I feel like we have a system that I can rely on and it took catching up with someone else who has set up their Monday really well and I sat down with them last week and, and spent two or three hours going through and just setting up manually learning exactly how they had done that and now I've replicated that and I'm trying to implement it into our team so that we don't lose track of projects because running a creative agency with around anywhere from five to eight different people at one time uh, doing work and delivering client projects it's really hard to manage if it's not centralized and so it's been a really big headache for me and I'm really glad that we finally got something that is getting started again so it's a bit it's a bit rough but we're gonna get used to it push all communication back on monday.com and yeah maybe it's not the most optimal thing at the time but at the moment we just need something that works and that we can use and that is what we're using so I'm just wrapping this up now because I gotta go head to the office and it's not peak time so that's good um, but what I'm going to do is while I'm just out here, I'm going to record a video reply to a TikTok 
message that someone asked me. How do you find clients when you first start a creative business and do you need qualifications? Those are very good questions to ask. Good morning, it is like 5.30 in the morning. Getting ready to go to a shoot at Queensland Parliament House for the Christian Business Network. So it's gonna be an interesting morning. Never been to the Parliament House. First time being part of this network, I'm gonna be joining as an in-kind sponsor by sponsoring with creation of content and I'm keen to meet some new people and it's gonna be good. Let's see how it goes. All right, we're here now setting up. I'm gonna set up a time-lapse camera and um, that's gonna capture people coming in, get some excitement. It's gonna be good. Alright, I've been home for a few minutes, just resetting after the shoot there at Parliament House. Went really well, met a lot of cool people and reconnected with some friends of mine in business, which is awesome. And had a bit of breakfast because I didn't get any food or coffee there, so I made my own. Uh, just sorted some stuff out. Oh, things dinging. Boston Celtics are getting absolutely trashed by the Cavs, which is awesome to see. If anyone's wondering what that wall is behind me with the stickers, it's where Annie and I are documenting our Project 50 journey. So it's the Project 50 challenge, and we put some post-it notes up there to give us an indication of how many days we've done and how many days we have left to go. And yeah, so we've just begun last week, so we've actually taken off a week and a half and it's going really well. Eating very clean and enjoying the process. And now I'm about to go to another networking lunch before I head back to the office. So let's go do that. I'm gonna set up a proposal here now. Head into the car, hit the road. And let's go to the next thing. All right, it's networking time again. Let's meet some people. Trav. Hi everyone, my name is Trav from Happy Good Afternoon. We have a shoot. Hey, what's going on? Not much. Does it record audio? I'm guessing it does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hope so. What's going on, guys? Um, apologies for the messy desk. We're still trying to work it out. Uh, it's it's a work in progress. Um, but yeah, it's hey, your first bro. official vlog on the little man. <laughs> the little man. <laughs> trying to learn all the features. We used it this morning on the shoot. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. oh, hey there. Good morning. We are on a shoot. That is out there. It's a Saturday morning and we are shooting because that is what we do when there is a lot of work. There is plenty to do, so we just keep going with it. And I'm just trying to figure out how to pack everything into the car. And I know you can't see it, but there's everything that's going to go in the back there. Okay, let's keep packing the car. There's, here's Maddie. He's ready for it. Come on. We're just uh, packing and getting ready for a shoot on Saturday morning, so don't, don't always do, do any filming on, on a weekend. But yeah, getting ready to film. It's a nice day for it. Doesn't look like there's any rain at the moment. It's going to be a good day. Uh, yeah, we're just, uh, I mean, we've got it like year here. We're still trying to figure it all out and clean it all up. I don't know how wide you're getting, but um, yeah. Ah, uh, this compartment here is the, um, the uh, yeah, yeah. kind of doesn't really work section, but if need be, it will make it happen. Um, <laughs> the graveyard. The graveyard drone, the probably 10 year old gimbal, not really. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. We're still trying to fit, you got toilet paper down there. That That's obviously essential. Um, yes, for sure. So yeah. We're just figuring out what gear we need and how to best efficiently pack it all. And there's never a light set up, especially for interviews, but we're trying to figure out how do we make it most efficient. <laughs> so it's always the joy. Just saying that I don't actually know how to pack light for anything. So, uh, so figure out what to pack is always a challenge. I just decided to pack everything, which is uh, never a good uh, holiday strategy. I think the flying around to different places for shoots is helping a little bit. Yeah. Mate, I've, mate, I've got it. Just bring a camera. That's all you need to do. That's all you need. Just bring a camera. Mate, we're video camera. videographers. Yeah, you, just surely bring, you just bring a camera. Just a camera and just hit record, that's all you need to just do. Bring, just bring that. Video logs. All right, it's uh, 
No, not always shooting on a Saturday, but here we are. It's gonna be fun. So one of the really good things about the Model Y Tesla is there is still enough room to do video production. So as you see, if I remove this bit here and I put the seats down, I bought these Tessery rubber mats here. So they're actually quite like robust and you can see I'm trying to pull this, it doesn't really move. It gives us enough room to still load up with plenty to go. So our black, big black roller bag will go here with our light stands and I've still got room for plenty. And I can still put some loose gear in here you know, at the front there, and it's all good. to the next destination it's actually going to be quite a while um, so yeah I'm going to drive 40 minutes this is what my car can look like after and during a shoot so we fit everything in and fold the seats down and it works really well put some gear here that's loose and let's keep going Woo! all right it's morning it's morning morning we are off to do some brainstorming Storming some things for the website on this Monday morning here at a cafe. Nice little aesthetic. Yes. Alley. Yes, we're at St. Alley. I like the coffee here. It's good coffee. Hi. So we just had, and by we, Annie and I, just had a really solid. Monday morning brainstorming session at one of our favorite cafes, which is St. Ali Coffee here in Queensland, here in Brisbane. St. Ali is based in Melbourne and we really liked the coffee and we liked the vibe, we liked the brand. We found out that they actually launched their own cafe here in Brisbane, so it's awesome. And every now and then we like to try and come out here to do some creative work, some brainstorming. The biggest challenge that I'm facing at the moment is we have this dream of becoming a full-fledged creative agency but we've got a body of work that doesn't fully reflect what we want to do long term and we want to offer some things that we don't currently offer. So our bread and butter is content creation. Like we are a good production house. We really want to position ourselves as a creative agency that does more than just make content. I feel like with the ability, the skills that we have, we can really create awesome production. But adding talent like what Annie has and the vision that we have to do things together, she brings a level of creative art direction that I don't have. And I feel like together we can really, yes, yeah, start to do some amazing work for, for big brands and do high level, creative, really creative productions. And so, yeah, it's just going to take some work, some, some hustle, and especially figuring out how to position ourselves well. So yeah, it's good. It's a journey. We're still figuring it all out, but that was, you know, part of the messy action is we did rebrand so that we can start repositioning. And now the journey is how do we reposition? Stay tuned. We are going to, we are going to keep talking and figuring this out. It's uh, a bit of a priority for this year to, to now correctly position our business to what we're trying to do and be able to, to speak about it confidently. Yeah, start developing a body of work that reflects the kind of work that we want to do long term. Big business challenges, you know, doing the same thing and refining it over five years is awesome. But stretching ourselves to do things we haven't done before and we want to do, it's a new challenge. So I'm here for it. It's uh, it's gonna be a lot of work, but we'll figure it out, and it's gonna be a good time. All right, we are shooting for a client here, and beautiful home.
All right, we're mid shoot at the moment. It's been a really cool, just beautiful property here at Newport in Redcliffe, I believe we're at. And yeah, just filming for one of our clients, doing some beautiful architectural style footage. It's always fun to shoot beautiful things. We take inspiration for these jobs from the local project who shoots absolutely top notch looking footage. So we finished the interview and we're doing B-roll now. It's a good day.